Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra. This is Harriet. And today we are doing a very long awaited video. I am going to take you on a tour of my home. So come on in. So before we get started, I just wanna give a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes. Everything from creative classes like creative writing to more business classes like how to start a successful online company. There's even classes about how to care for your houseplants, which I think we all need in our lives. So many of you have asked for advice on how you can get started in the interior design world. I feel like Skillshare is such an amazing way to get started if you want to learn more about interior design. I actually took the interior design basics module. I love how it's broken down into 11 lessons. There's a lesson on color. There's a lesson on skill and proportion. I loved the class on finding your design style. I feel like I get kind of overwhelmed with all the different design styles out there. Sometimes I'm like, wait, what is my style? Or what is this person's style um, whose room I'm making over? I love how this class gives you specific examples. Lauren, the teacher, outlines so many different styles and then the kind of like micro styles within those main styles. How many times can you say style in one sentence? I love how she gives specific photo examples and how she explains everything in detail. And it just kind of like refreshed my memory on all the different styles out there. And the best part is that using my code down in the description box, you can get two free months of Skillshare premium, which is pretty sweet. So make sure you check out that link down below and use my code. Okay, so let's actually get started on this very exciting home tour. So the first kind of area I wanna talk about is the entryway. So this is our front door right here. So you come in and we have this beautiful brick wall that I'm so obsessed with. I've always wanted a brick wall in my home and this is a beautiful one. And then I just put this um, Ikea bench. I painted the legs. I. That's Marty, by the way. Um, I have a few baskets underneath. These just keep all of our winter accessories tucked away all year round, so our hats and our gloves, just like entryway necessities. And this was one of the first pieces I actually got for this apartment. Well, it was actually at my old house, but I knew I needed it to be a focal point in this apartment. Very lovely round mirror from Ikea. I feel like it just opens this whole space up. And then this beautiful banana leaf plant, which sits by the window and gets lots of light. You like it, right, Marty? He loves it. And then this is a framed um, magazine cover from Miss Chatelaine. Well, it used to be called Miss Chatelaine. And it's a summer of 1964 cover. Many of you may or may not know, I used to work at Chatelaine. So, um, and that's kind of how I got my start in this. So yeah, so I like to keep that framed up there. So this is the entryway and it opens up to the living room. So it's like very open concept, but I feel like the entryway is removed enough from the living room that it kind of feels separate. We have a very big TV, but we put it in this media unit that holds like all my magazines, um, my coffee table books, our board games, and it just feels less of like an eyesore because it's surrounded by all these really pretty things. Um, this is from Ikea. It's a pretty standard unit that they sell. And then over here, um, I just hung a couple of photo shelves and this is my partner Andrew's record collection. He has a pretty impressive record collection. The Harry to Marty's little pineapple bed. Uh, Harriet was just in it actually. And I love it so much. I did a pet decor haul a while back. I'll link it up here. And this is one of the pieces that I included in it. It's just really cute. It's decorative, but it's also functional because they, they sleep in it. And then through here is actually my home office. So I took the closet and transformed it into this little nook. And I actually do sit in here and work a lot. It's just nice to have like a surface to work on. Um, and it keeps like my printer in here. This cord down the middle of the wallpaper is where we is where I hide the cords, so you can't see them. They're not an eyesore. Um, and then this beautiful light up here. If you guys have seen my closet makeover, I hope this gives you context to where it's kind of all located. The wallpaper is peeling off, which I'm not happy about. So I actually bought um, some more wallpaper from a different company on Etsy, and I'm gonna replace it. And I, it's the same pattern, but I'm hoping that it um, is more durable because it's like all peeled off 
the wall and that's not good. So I'll link the one I bought down below and hopefully I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully it works. So next I'm going to take you guys out to the deck and this deck is the reason that I call this apartment the tree house because as you'll see there's so many trees it just feels like we're floating in the trees basically. My mom is out on the patio lounging so you can say hi to her. <laughs> Come on out. Oh also I want to just point out this really cute doormat that I just got. It says oh hi. Oh you're not going out though. Bye. So Marty had a bit of an accident with his elbow. He really hurt his elbow. He had to have surgery. So for the time being, he's not allowed to go outside while he's still healing. Right, bud? Even though he really wants to. Okay, stay there. Okay, so this is the patio, which, well, the deck really, um, which is one of my most favorite places ever to hang out. This is my herb wall, my herb, my herb. I don't know, whichever way you say it. These pots and these little planter things are from CB2, I think. I'll link them down below if there's, or Crate and Barrel. I just love them. I feel like they decorate this fence a little bit um, and they're also functional. So Article very kindly donated, I think, yeah, all the outdoor, well, almost all the outdoor furniture um, and we've used it all summer and we love it. This table has been so great at entertaining out here. These pink chairs add like such a nice pop of color. And then my bike is over here. And actually, this is a very good hack that my mom came up with. Um, we just put some faux flowers in the basket. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my latest video that you love my mom. So do I, she's hilarious. Um, yeah, she's just lounging. Anyways, I think this is a really good tip if you have a bike that you need to leave outside that just doesn't look like that pretty and is taking up space add some faux flowers and you have like a decorative focal point. Love it. And then this is our like lounge area. So I have an outdoor rug, a little coffee table, the sectional. And when you're lying on the sectional and looking up at the trees, it's the best. And I can hear the streetcar go by and it just, I just love this outdoor space so, so much. Um, we have this like boho chair, which is really fun. Oh, and the lights. They're so beautiful. They complete this space and at night, this patio looks amazing. Mom, is this or is this not the most magical place? It's the most magical place. It really is. It's amazing. And at night when we have the lights on and we have barbecues out here, it's the best. So this is the patio. Let's head inside again and I'm going to show you the kitchen. Go ahead, Carla. <laughs> So this is the kitchen and this is probably one of my favorite rooms in this house because of all the light it gets. There's a skylight up top, the ceilings are really tall and I actually just made this space over and I'm gonna link the video up top. A lot of you guys loved this video, I'm so glad. So if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. I'm also gonna link my rental reno series because I actually take you through each room and show you the process. A lot has changed because I'm constantly changing my decor around, but I don't know, it might be fun to watch back. Um, and you can see footage of what this space looked like before we moved into it. So yeah, so this is the kitchen, um, the fridge obviously, our bar area. And then I've made use of the open shelving here and put all of our dried goods in jars just to add some color. This plant was here when our friends used to live in this apartment at a Noel, it kind of came with them. They were like, you have to keep the plant because it's literally attached to the wall. I also love this ladder so much. Again, when we moved in, I was like, this is my dream to have a ladder. I attach it to the wall, so it's kind of more of a library ladder and it's more safe. And up top is a little loft area where I keep all of my props. So I have lockers up there, I have some plants to make it decorative. And yeah, it's where I store all my paint and my DIY supplies, and then any extra like decor props I have hanging around. I also just wanted to talk through this DIY really quickly. I did this for a recent TV segment that I was on um, and it's just a picture frame from Ikea filled with um, paint chips and a dry erase marker and it's this little calendar, which I love. And I think it fits so nicely in this little space. Okay, so there's the kitchen. Are you ready to see the bedroom? This is my bedroom. I actually also recently did a makeover video, but have changed things up even in the last few weeks. And I've gotten a king bed and I'm not mad about it. So I literally went to this amazing, very fancy resort um, for a work trip and literally came home and was like, I need a king size bed. I worked with Wayfair and Aeroplan, which was really great. 
and upgraded to a king size bed. The reason I thought that this could work in this space, even though it's quite big, this little alcove is just big enough to fit a king size bed. Before when we had a double bed, we couldn't even fit side tables because the space was just too small. So I was like, why not just go for a much bigger and comfier bed? And I'm obsessed with it. I got this headboard from a store here in Toronto. I will link them down below. I love it so much. It's so boho. It's very, it's just great. And it becomes this like focal point of the room. So in this corner, this is Andrew's desk. And I'm like kind of chuckling because I take this in and out of shoots. So it's not always here, but in real life, this desk is normally here. So this is his little workspace. And then he has lots of storage down here. Um, in this amazing shelf that Danny built. So it works really well because he can keep all his stuff just like shoved in there. And then I have the beautiful curated side of the shelves. A lot of you did ask in the bedroom makeover, like where's all your partner stuff and why is everything so pink? Andrew's super chill. He's like not fussy. As long as he has his space in the room and then he has his records, he's fine. So I've kind of left it like a little bit messy because that's what it looks like on a daily basis. Totally real life and then the rest is pink and perfect. And then through here um, is the bathroom. So it's kind of strange when we have guests over because they have to walk through our bedroom, um, but it is what it is. I haven't really made any changes except the light since you guys saw the My Rental Reno bathroom edition. But this is it, again, in all its glory. And I love how this bathroom feels so cohesive with the rest of the decor in my space. Like, I haven't not decorated it because it's a bathroom, because the reality is, is I get ready in this space every day, and I want it to be nice and cozy and lovely. So there you guys have it. This is my home. This is the tree house. I really hope you enjoyed this video and really get a sense of the layout and what everything looks like cohesively together. Thank you so much to Skillshare again for sponsoring this video. If you guys want two months free of Skillshare Premium, who wouldn't? Click the link down below in the description box. I also just wanted to mention that I wanted this home tour to just be kind of like an overview and just kind of like beautiful shots of my home. But I do wanna do a separate video of my favorite pieces within my home. So things like, you know, maybe my favorite item of clothing or like, my favorite piece of decor that you maybe didn't see. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like a video on that. And also let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how I use this space. Maybe there's a product that you saw that I didn't shout out but you wanna know more about. Let me know in the comments and I will try my best to answer it. And as always, I will see you guys next Friday. Bye.